We've moved on over to the Canal Side Lounge because we have a very special guest. You saw her on the X Factor, but now she's a full-on working musician. Mm -hmm. She's Next touring with Debbie Lovato. Her name is B. Miller. Hey, B. Hey, B. Hey, B. Let's kick off this. Hey, Do you want to kick this off with a B joke? A what? All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess I didn't even have time to answer, so yeah. sure. I'll tell you a B joke real quick. Oh, see, so this is the thing, B. He already had one in mind. Yeah. Oh, you you were like planning this out beforehand. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. How long did it take you to come up with this one? Um, well, how long He's did He's got a search? million B jokes. I mean, it's like, I'll just give you the best one, then. All right, here we go. Oh, Do no. you know where um, bees get their milk, B. Miller? Do I you know? do. You do? Where? Boobies. Yeah! <laughs> nice. <laughs> You're probably nice so job. proud of yourself. You're like, oh, she's yeah. not going to know this one. I know it. I not know sure it. It's all me. It's all me. So, okay. B, you're 15 and your mom's here. <laughs> yes, she is. Hi, Mom. She's heard her say hey, booby before, Jenna. It's okay. 15-year-olds <laughs> can say boobies. It's fine. It's not like... I mean, she's already got little boobies. It's okay. okay I can't, I can't, no, no, no. I cannot, I cannot it's participate in this. It's all a push-up bra. It's all a lie. It's, uh, it's, just, it's all a lie. This is weird. But you start the Chicago with uh, Demi on October 14th. Mm -hmm. Now, is this your first time actually being on a stage of that size? I mean, yeah. besides the X Factor, I mean... Yeah, professionally. yeah, this is the first like big tour that I'm doing, so I'm very excited. Yeah, <laughs> and a little bit sick to your stomach too, I'd imagine. It's kind of a not mix yet. Of... It kind of, I think it kind of comes like when it, you're a little closer to actually doing it. Right now, I'm kind of just like, eh, it's yeah. gonna happen. So. And it's cool because you're touring with one of the people that was judging you on the X yeah. Factor. You know? No, she was not on with Demi. Oh, you yeah, were. Yeah, she was. Yeah, was. Demi, but Brittany, Brittany. Brittany was your mentor, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I just How could you, like, you had to think about that? I'm just not. I would never forget it. There's Kelly, so much going on, you know. Uh, you don't understand Brittany how much fan. I love Britney. Doesn't everyone love Britney? Exactly. Tell me your, what is, like, everything. <gasps> okay. Just tell me everything um, about being well, with Britney. Um, I was born in New York City. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, tell you everything? About about Brittany? Brittany? How is it Brittany working with or? her? Yeah, about her. Because, you know, I, I feel like she's like this delicate little fragile flower. And people say, no, behind the scenes, she's really a tough cookie. It depends on who she's with, from what I notice. Like, when she's around certain adults, I feel like she kind of closes up a little bit. Um, and then when she's around kids, I feel like she, you know, feels like kids um, are less apt to judge her. Mm -hmm. um, and so she was always really cool with us. She's actually really funny. She always was saying, like, talk, say, like telling jokes backstage. And Oh, tell us a joke that she, Brittany told you. <laughs> Where do you think she got the booby joke? Told me. If I remember the jokes, Brittany told me I would use them. And the people yeah. that I came up with them that I was a funny one. Right. <laughs> right. So I, I obviously, I don't remember any of them. Um, I would have more friends if I did. But um, she was really cool. And she would tell us about her kids. And, you know, she bought each of them two Halloween costumes before Halloween because she wanted them to have options. And I was like, that's really cute. Like, that's, yeah. you're such a good mom. That's really Brittany sweet. Brittany is the best. So she was she? so cool. And it was, like, mostly with us, the younger, like, the younger people on the show. And with everyone else, she was kind of a little more, like, stone-faced. But I thought she was actually really fun. So you, it was a couple years ago, so you were, you were only 13 mm -hmm. when you did The X yeah. Factor. Were you really able to grasp the magnitude of what you were doing at the time? Or is it just one of those things you're just kind of young and show up and hey this is cool i didn't really understand like that it was going to be a big thing until live shows like all up until like the end of auditions i was kind of like oh i keep passing this is pretty cool like, i keep getting to the next round like what's gonna happen next who knows and then once i got to live shows i was like oh there's a real audience here now like <laughs> their camera crews like big gigantic professional um cameras so obviously something like is really important or else none of this would be here. And you so. get one shot. I mean, you can't, there's no stopping and starting. You, oh, you yeah. go live, you yeah, go. You, have you ever, like, been talking to someone and it's really dry in the room, so you kind of just start in the middle of your sentence? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Without doing it on purpose? Right. I did that once while singing on my first live show. <laughs> yeah, it was really bad. And I was like, well, now there's no going back, so this kind of sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to keep trucking through it. But you yeah. survived it, and that's a big lesson I got, to yeah, learn. I, I thought I was going to get sent home just because of that. I'm always curious with these talent competitions, how much say do you have in song choice? Zero. 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 Zero say. Um, but I mean, it's it's their show, it's their thing. Like the people who run it, they're the ones who have to, you know, think about their audience and who watches it and like what people are going to be more attracted to. So I don't know. It's I guess like if, I, if I chose songs anyway, there wouldn't be any songs that people my age would even really know, most likely. So I guess it's probably a good thing that they yeah, chose yeah. the songs yeah. I did. It's kind of like here because we want you to sing Turn Down for what? 
Okay, I can do that. <laughs> no, we know but that. now you We've can choose it. every. I mean, I know you have to deal with a record label and everything, but do you have a voice and the songs you get to choose now? Oh yeah, and then if I want to do um, a cover in my bedroom and just put it on my YouTube channel, I'm mm-hmm. allowed to do whatever. Like it doesn't. I mean. Uh, to a certain extent, obviously, I'm not going to do a rap song and, you know, be like that little awkward white girl who's trying to be like, oh, yeah, what's up? Like, I'm not I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I saw on your Wikipedia that um, Miley Cyrus is one of your influences, too. So um, oh, that, that makes make your mother your so happy. <laughs> Wikipedia. <laughs> My mom actually likes Miley Cyrus. Oh, so. you, know, you know how to separate the good from the bad, right? Yeah. I mean, I know that obviously, like, her actions are not what I should be aspiring to. Too, right. but um, I like that she just goes on. I saw her in concert, and a lot of the concerts I've been to recently, um, because people are trying to save money and you know all this stuff, and so a lot of concerts I've been to recently, it's like it's just the artist, like a couple of lights and stuff, and like that's really it. Maybe like a screen behind them, yeah. and like nothing else really goes on because they're trying to save money, um, and they're not gonna like spend extra money on things to actually make it more exciting. Miley apparently invested like three million or somewhere near there of her own money. I mean, obviously she's gonna make it back, but three million of her own money in order to help get the show like up to its highest point. And so I was constantly entertained. And most concerts I go to, it's like after like 40 minutes, I'm just sitting there like, okay, when is this gonna end? I'm so tired, like, yeah. I just wanna go home. Those nachos aren't agreeing with me anymore. But, you know, Miley, the entire time, mm-hmm. I was like, please don't ever let this end. And so that really speaks, like, really loudly to me. And um, I think that if an artist can capture you the entire show, and it's a super long show, they're doing something right. And so she had props and dancers and just all these different things going on. And at one point, she was, like, flying around on a hot dog, and it was just, like, Dude, was it was there. insane. Yeah. Yeah, for, it was crazy. For, for yeah. as many times as I said, yikes, during the Miley Cyrus concert, I was entertained yeah. the entire time. Yeah. Dude, just, I, I want to be entertaining. I left my Mexican vacation early to come back so I could make it to the Miley Cyrus concert. With another dude. I'd give you a high, high five from across the <laughs> room. High five across the room. But yeah. that it has to be a big challenge going from doing covers in your bedroom, you know, and putting them on YouTube to now you're going to be opening for a big pop star. So who, you know, for people that don't know you very well yet, who is B. Miller? B. Miller is just the average 15-year-old lame girl I'm like I'm just a teenager like I just I always describe myself as a teenage girl who has an interesting hobby you know what I mean like I just do every single normal thing but I do other stuff on the side that most people don't do 